Good morning, sweetheart. Hi, Dad. Honey, I got great news. Oh, yeah? What? I just left the Interplanetary Development Conference on Magnum. Magnum? Is that a planet? Yeah, right next to the star Selic. <laughs> Look, let me tell you what happened. We have finally developed a device that can transport living matter through space. What do you mean? Well, it's like a fax machine. But instead of a letter, we can transmit a living form. Like what? Like a living creature. Dad, when you say creature, it frightens me. <laughs> no, not that kind of creature. Hold out your hands and, and watch. Dad, a puppy! Oh, he's the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life! Oh, I've always wanted a little dog. What should I name him? What about Bernie? I always like the name Bernie. No, Bernie sounds like an attorney. What can I name him? Star, because he came from another planet. Star Dog! Right, now, let me tell you a few of the rules. Oh, I gotta tell Mom. He's so cute. First of all, you can only keep him for the weekend, or I'll get in trouble up here. Another waffle, Kyle? Who is that great philosopher, Clint Eastwood? Go ahead. Make my day. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Hello? Mrs. Garland? Yes? Marlowe Drugs, Mrs. Garland. I just wanted to let you know that your special order came in. That's the false eyelashes, the hair dye, and the six sets of lifts that you uh, Hello? Hello, 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 hello. Hello, yes. Well, you have the wrong number. <laughs> no, Kyle, the city should really put a stop to these obscene phone calls. <laughs> have another waffle. Mom! Oh, excuse me. But can I have a puppy? Well, someday. Oh, thanks, Mom. Dad sent me one. Oh, that's nice. I had a dog when I was Evie's age. Huh? He was great looking, intelligent. I named him Kyle after me. <laughs> uh, here, Kyle, have another waffle. I'll be right back. Evie! Wait till you see him. He's so tiny. <laughs> he was tiny. Evie, is this some kind of a joke? You said he was a puppy. Well, he was, two minutes ago. <laughs> Dad! Dad! Evie, where did you go? I got a lot to explain. Donna, can I come up? I want to say something before I go. Uh, Troy, we can't talk now. Hurry up, Evie. We can't let Kyle come up here. Uh, we're coming, Kyle! Donna, don't go! Evie! Evie, hello! Troy the dog. Come in, dog. Troy to dog. Come in, dog. Dog on it. Dog. Dog. Come in, dog. <laughs> Uh, Evie's bed isn't made. Yeah, um, it's a doggone mess. <laughs> well, I, I just want to say goodbye. I'm off to the museum to open their exhibit of the Crown Jewels. The Crown Jewels, right. See you later. Bye. Okay, did you have enough to eat? Yeah, well, uh, just in case. <laughs> Wish I hadn't put syrup on them, though. <laughs> Bye. 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 Let's go check out the pooch from another planet. That big, he won't eat that much. <laughs> Evie, he is twice the size. Is this some kind of trick? Stardog, is that you? Oh, you must be Evie. Your father told me all about you. Glad to meet you. <laughs> Glad to meet you, too. Mom, did you hear that? Hear what? Stardog, he talked. Big deal. You should hear me in the shower. I sing up a storm. <laughs> What's so funny? Was not you hear his joke? Oh, she can't hear me. She's not Antarian. Oh, you can't hear him. You're not Antarian. Well, I can't hear him. I'm not Antarian. Is there an echo in here? Is there an echo in here? No, there's no echo in here. Can we stop this? Hey, do you mind if I use your computer? I'm keeping a diary. <laughs> Sure. Let me help you. Evie, what are you doing? He wants to use the computer. Oh, well, that's okay. You what? Dear diary, Earth, day one. 
Hey, do you mind? Uh, sorry. I'll get that. You keep him in here. Oh, hey, don't turn the computer off. I didn't save the pages. Uh, who is it? Hi, it's Buzz. I'm sorry. We're not home right now. But if you leave your name, your home address, and the time you called, we'll stop by and see you real soon. <laughs> Beep! This is Buzz. It's 11.14 a.m. I live at 1412 Elm Street. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye. Somehow I knew that would work on him. Mom! I think you better come! Quick! <laughs> What is it? What's happened? Now, don't panic. I talked to Dad, and uh, he said that Star grows just a little faster than a thing dog. How much faster? I think I better show you. <laughs> May I come out now? Not now, Star. Well, then, do you have any more Reeboks? They taste great. Join those. I want out. Okay, sir. All right, all right. Later, okay? All right. Yeah. He wants out. So do I. Well, we got him out of the closet and Mom put him outside. But he's still growing. Well, I think I can control the growing. Where is he now? In the yard out back. Can you see him? Damn, he's all I can see. Hi, Evie. Come on out, let's play. <laughs> Where's he sitting? In the garden, on the driveway, and all across the patio. <laughs> That's trouble. Let me handle this. Stand back. Evie, let's play ball. Dad? Go see if he's okay. Hey, let me in. There's a female pit bull winking at me. I have a feeling he is okay. Hi. Star, you're back to normal. Oh, yeah. But your mailman will never be the same. Star, I was so worried about you. Aww. How did he ring the doorbell? With my paw. Should I have knocked instead? He said with his paw. Evie, are you kidding or can he really talk? Mom, he talks. He understands everything. He's from another planet. Go ahead, ask him something. <laughs> um... Star? Yeah. I didn't know. Uh, are you hungry? Oh, you betcha. <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> We're amazed they're not. <laughs> oh, that's okay, Star. I'll make something for you. <laughs> you go sit with Evie. Well, I hope it's good. I didn't come six trillion miles for leftovers. You know, a little lobster would be nice. There you go. Some milk and pudding. Oh, yeah. Huh? Oh, yes. You're gonna like this boy. Uh-huh. That's a good job. Anybody home? It's me. Oh, no. It's Kyle. Uh, hi, Kyle. Uh, I'll be right out. Have a seat. Evie, we've got to do something. We can't let him see Star. Oh, don't worry. I can make myself invisible. <laughs> he made himself invisible. Ah, a little to the left. <laughs> Ooh, that feels good, yeah. Oh, that's the spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, honey, you, you keep an eye on him. Oh, well, keep a hand on him. <laughs> keep him in here. Uh, I'm coming, Kyle. Here, I'll, I'll take him this food. I'll keep him busy for a while. Hey, your mother took the food. Oh, well, forget it. 
wasn't fit for a dog. Oh, don't worry, Star. I'll get us something better. Just stay in your seat. Oh, I know it'll be good. Some leftover pizza. I'll heat that up. Wait till you see this. I've got the most beautiful thing in the world to show you. Please, don't do that. Do what? Please, don't lick my face. I didn't lick your face. It's not sanitary. Anyway, look at this. Oh, Kyle. This is magnificent. I've never seen anything like this in my life. Where did you get this? If you lick me again, I'm not telling. Star. Please, call me Kyle. Uh, Kyle. Uh, tell me all about this. This is the original diamond and ruby necklace that was made for Cleopatra over 2,000 years ago. Well, it, it, it must be worth a fortune. Uh, $3 million, according to the museum. Well, my goodness. How, how did you get it? It's one of the items at the Crown Jewel exhibit. The head of security is a buddy of mine. Oh, well, gee, Kyle, do, do, you don't think it's a good idea walking around with something so valuable, do you? I mean, somebody could try and steal it. Evie, I think a friend of yours is on the loose. <laughs> steal it? It's in my care. Star, where are you? I'm right here, Evie. What did you say? Nothing, Mayor. Whoa! What was that? Got him. Uh, honey, be sure and close that, that open door. It's, it's causing quite a draft on the mayor. Boy, those winds just come up, huh? Uh, aren't you forgetting about dinner? No, absolutely not. I didn't forget. When is it? Now. I will pick you and Evie up. Remember? The lodge meeting? No. And I'm being honored. No. And I got the tickets free. Now I remember. <laughs> Evie, Kyle is here to take us to the lodge meeting. Are you ready? She's ready. Why don't you jump on in that car and we'll be right behind you. Just jump on in. <laughs> the coast is clear. Great. Okay, you pooch potato. You can watch some TV while we're gone. I love TV, especially soap operas. I hope I haven't missed any of all my puppies. Okay, here's the channel changer. Uh, yeah, coming. Bye, Star. We won't be late. I'll call you on the speakerphone. Well, don't be surprised if the cat answers. I may have a few people in. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> oh, great. The only thing on is Lassie. My luck. <laughs> Take John Rivers to block, you dope. <laughs> Hi, guys. You must be friends of Evie's, right? She should have told me you were coming. Hey, Huey. Looks like a watchdog. Keep an eye on him and I'll look for the jewels. I love them diamonds. A connoisseur of diamonds, huh? I should show him where they are. <laughs> hey, Louie. Do you believe this? What do you think he wants? To play fetch with the rocks? <laughs> It's the Queen's beans, Huey. We have struck it rich. These two are rather odd, but seemingly appreciative. Perhaps they'd like to see something in silver as well. 
Presto. The dog is like a tour guide. Look at this stash. These fellows seem to be quite interested in material items. Oh, I should show them Donna's personal jewelry collection upstairs. Gentlemen, this way, please. <laughs> The mud is trying to show us something. And I think it's upstairs. Let's go. I hope it's not another of those party line calls. <laughs> Hi, Star. How's it going? Well, I got a flea here and there, but I can't kick. <laughs> We're having dinner with Kyle at the... Moose Hall. What's it like? Shh, don't ask. So what's up with you? Oh, I'm fine. Your friends drop by, and they're great company. Friends? What friends? The two men with the flashlights who came in looking for diamonds. Where are they now? They're upstairs looking through your mother's jewelry. Now, Star, don't panic, but those are not our friends. They must be burglars. I didn't get their last name, but it could be burglar. Oh, my God, I forgot. There's no crime in Antares. They've come to take things that don't belong to them. Money, jewelry, the TV. The TV? Yeah. Oh, don't worry, Evie. I'll stop them. <laughs> Louie, I think we cleaned them out. It's unbelievable. <laughs> what do we tip the hound? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> They're paralyzed, and they didn't get the TV. Good. All right, uh, there's a clothesline in the garage. Time up, and I'll be home as fast as I can. Got you covered. This is Mayor Applegate speaking. We're coming in. Don't anybody move. I got the whole house surrounded by me. Hey. How did this happen? <laughs> all right, all right, you two. You're under arrest. Get moving. And you, off the sofa. Well, so much for intelligent life on other planets. <laughs> credit for the capture of the robbers. Mayor Applegate, who else? Yeah, I'll bet I don't see a dime of that reward either. Well, darling, I hate to tell you, but it's that time. Oh, Dad, I hate to see him go. We were just getting to know one another. Can I come back again? Can he? Sure. I love you. Please come back. I will, Evie. And as you earthlings say, arf, arf. <laughs> what if I came with him next time? Dad, please don't joke about that. Evie, this, this is just the beginning. It's what I've been working on. Star is the proof that we can transmit a living, breathing form. Next, we hope to be able to do it with a human being. Dad, every day of my life, I look at your planet. And I always wish the same wish. Please make it come true. No, uh, I wish it too, Evie. Don't stop wishing. It will come true. There's an old saying on Antares. When you wish upon... Today, starting at 3.30, go behind the dugouts of Southern California's hottest two teams. Catch baseball's hottest new faces and spectacular highlights in two back-to-back -back specials. Don't miss an exciting Angels and Dodgers baseball special. Starting today at 3.30, only on L.A.'s Baseball Station, Channel 5. But first, get set for more Out of This World, coming up next.